Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jarell Mata. Today we're going to be doing my eyeshadow palette declutter. This is something that I have been thinking about doing for such a long time. Um, it's not only one of my favorite videos to watch, but it's also something that I have been procrastinating on doing myself and finally is here. Not filming this video, <laughs> of course not. The actual decluttering from my makeup collection. So yes, I'm going to be decluttering many eyeshadow palettes for so many different reasons and I will let you know the reasons behind every single palette or every single line of palette. So yeah. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible um, because we do have a few palettes to go through. So yeah, um, also just in case if you want to know the rest of my eyeshadow palettes, I mean, I actually did buy so many eyeshadow palettes this past year, 2018, because there were so many new eyeshadow palettes coming out back to back and some of them were totally amazing and I actually got my hands on so many new eyeshadow palettes this past year. Um, so I don't think those will be included, but I did do an eyeshadow palette collection. Um, so if I do find that video, I will link it somewhere up here just so you can go ahead and see it as well. So just you can be a little bit more familiar about what I have in my collection. So yeah. If you are interested in seeing all the eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to be letting go, saying goodbye to, please keep on watching. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you have not already, you can also click on the little bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video, which is every single week. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. All right, so the first brand that we're going to talk about is Too Faced. I do have some, a couple of Too Faced palettes that I'm going to let go, and this one is a really beautiful palette. This one is called Everything Nice, and I got it about, I don't know how many years ago. Um, I still do have the brush. My kids actually made my makeup using this palette when uh, one day that I had a really bad migraine, and they decided to pick this palette, and I was just like, whatever, you just let me sleep for a little bit as long as you are next to me you can do my makeup but this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like so even though these eyeshadows look so beautiful to me this one right here it's more like a green it has like a dual dual chrome shift to it um all of these shades right here are just definitely calling my name um it does have blushes and also a bronzer and i still have the little brushes right here that came with the collection i knew i was not going to use them so therefore i left it is this something that i'm going to be reaching for absolutely not i'm just not going to be touching this palette whatsoever i still even keep the little plastic sheet um just because you know i just i don't know i'm just particular like that I guess with my stuff so I'm going to pass it along to friends and family all of these palettes are going to be passed along to friends and family another palette from Too Faced is this one right here this one is called Bonjour Summer I mean this is how I keep my palettes even with a little sheet that has never been open whatsoever I just don't know why I, I it's really hard for me to throw beautiful things away um, especially when it comes to makeup it's really hard um, everything else you know like I can give away clothes I can go through my closet super easy and I'm not attached to any like clothing pieces whatsoever or shoes I can let go if I haven't used them but for makeup it's just I'm very particular I am very weird like that I guess so anyway so this is the eyeshadow palette it has your three highlighting kind of setting powders and of course all of your um, you know beautiful colors right there I like that green this one is the one that I use the most but this one I probably used it a couple of times maybe three four the most five times and after that I have not used it that's why I'm let letting go of it the other one I mean super cute packaging but this one is something that I also have to let go this one is the sugar pop and I love the colors here but do I have many colors similar to this but with better quality better pigmentation blendability yes I do so I'm going to have to let go of this palette for sure um and yeah hoping that someone actually takes it again <laughs> weird i am actually trying like i am finding out things 
of how I keep my makeup. That is so crazy. So yeah, I can't swatch because if I do, I'm just going to bring it back to my collection. I'm not gonna be able to let go of it, so I'm just gonna let it go. Next palette is this one right here. This one is a collaboration with Nikki Tutorials here on YouTube. And this palette went through so much controversy. It was insane. I did never, ever, ever use this palette, never. It is completely untouched. I have not used it once. I haven't even swatched it once. Just because everything went down so quick. And by the time that I was going to either film with it or create a look for my Instagram with it, it, it was just going downhill. And there were so many reviews about this one, how you know some of them were good and some of them were not. I don't know what I got. I not in the mood. <laughs> I don't really care which one I got anymore. This one is a limited edition and that is another thing. If it's a limited edition palette, it's really hard for it to stay in my collection because I'm not gonna be able to use it here and therefore I'm gonna have to let go of it. The next palette is this one by Tarte. This one is the Aqua Lilies for Tarte. It is one of their first collaborations that they did. This palette is so beautiful. I've used it about maybe three times. And it's just something that I am no longer interested. It is limited edition. I'm not going to use it. I'm hoping that it goes to a better home that is going to give it the love that it really deserves. So it is a beautiful palette. However, it has to go. I even have the box for it. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. The next one is this Urban Decay Basic Palette. This one is the first one. Yes, the pigmentation is still there. Yes, I said I was not going to swatch anything, but here I am swatching because it's just something that I have to do. But this palette for sure is definitely not up my alley anymore. It's not the colors that I am interested in having on my crease. It's very cool tone, not warm at all. And yeah, I do like cool tones, but not this type of cool tone. So I, I'm getting rid of it. So the next palette is this one by Lorac, and this one is the To Go Pro. Um, these eyeshadows are just so beautiful, beautiful. I remember creating so many looks with this palette over and over again, and I always, always got compliments on it. And these are the blushes that it has on the other side. It goes like that, and then it opens up. Um, but it's just very old and it's something that I am not interested in having any longer on my collection. I know Lorac is coming back and I do see them in Instagram and I see that they are coming back with a new eyeshadow palette. So hopefully they come out with something similar to this. Maybe, you know, the formula being a little bit better. Um, not so powdery for sure, but, um, yeah letting go of that one so this is another palette by Lorac and I don't remember the name of this one right here I know it was limited edition but uh, this is the eyeshadow palette right here and I bought it for that blue right there and here is the pigmentation of that blue it is super beautiful but the rest of the shades were very very I don't know it was just not pigmented enough um, I did have trouble using other shades here because they were just not pigmented enough. The blue one, however, it really it's really, really nice, but I'm not going to reach for this eyeshadow palette at all. I'm not. It was limited edition. I'm not going to take it out. I'm not going to create a look with it. So I might as well give it to someone that can actually use it and enjoy. All right, so... The next palette is by Sigma. I'm talking about many, many years ago, many moons ago, okay? This one is called the Resort Palette. Um, it came with a pencil, with a dual pencil, brown and blue. And these are the eyeshadows. It also came with a liquid highlighter, which is this one right here, and a blush. Of course, the liquid highlighter is like, oh my god, super old and disgusting. This one is definitely going straight to the garbage because it is so old. Um, unfortunately, I cannot share it because it's just old and I did use it so much because it was like my first Sigma palette ever and that was like after the Naked 2 because I wasn't even here or knew anything about makeup for the Naked palette. So I came to the makeup world when the Naked 2 came. So, you know, just a year after the Naked. 
Anyways, just so you can have an idea of how long ago it was. <laughs> but yeah, this one is super old. I am not gonna share it with anyone and the quality definitely was not there. Um, we have so many, so many palettes out in the market right now with such amazing quality, affordable. Um, this one is not even worth sharing. So that one is going to go straight to the Sorry, sorry Sigma, I love you though. All right, so the next brand that I'm going to be talking about is another one that I'm just deciding that I no longer want to support and no longer want to have in my collection and that is Kat Von D. The first palette from Kat Von D that I'm letting go and I'm going to show you two face palettes, this one being one of them. This one is the Alchemist Holographic Palette and this is what it looks like. You cannot really tell, but it's like a blue uh, shift, green shift, pink shift, and a purple shift to it um so i'm letting go of this one i'm also going to let go of the shade and light palette and this is what it looks like this was a hit pan um and it was really really good i was almost about to hit pan on this one as well so yeah gotta let go of this one another eyeshadow palette that i have here by kat von d is this one and it was a limited edition palette it's called the esperanza palette and came out like on a spring many years ago and this is what it looks like the quality was definitely not there on this one in particular i don't think i liked it that much since i don't see myself using this one a lot maybe just a couple of shades here and there but the pigmentation on this one was they were not so good the next one from kevin d is these monarch um eyeshadow palette these are the shades right here um i did use this one a lot as well it came out with a purple version of it and i decided to go with the warm tones more than the purple ones another eyeshadow palette is uh, this one which is called the metal palette uh i've never ever used this palette haven't even swatched it nope never used it these are it this ones are really really big really hard to store so yeah i gotta let go of this one and the last eyeshadow palette from kevin d that i'm just saying goodbye to for my collection is very one a very popular one that everybody needed in their collection um it is called mi vida loca I've never used this palette either. These shadows are untouched and I'm never gonna use them, so. All right, so the next eyeshadow palette that I have here is uh, this one and this one is from The Bomb. This is the New Tube. I love this eyeshadow palette so much. I thought it was like super perfect. I recommended uh, this palette to all of my sisters, of course. I have three sisters just in case you didn't know. And I also recommended it to my cousin and I pretty much recommended this palette to everybody that I knew. It came with this little pencil that I knew I was not gonna use so therefore it just stayed there looking all nice. But um, yeah, I mean these colors are really nice and pretty but it's just not something that I am going to be using or getting out of my collection to use at all. So the next eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to mention are eyeshadow palettes that I got on my BoxyCharm. Some of them I like so much that I'm definitely keeping in my collection for sure. Some of them it's either too similar to other eyeshadow palettes that I like and prefer the formula on and I'm just not going to use it. So this one is called the Nightingale and it is by Pretty Vulgar. We have received several things from Pretty Vulgar. This is something definitely not up my alley. It's too cool tone for me. Very, very smoky. Something that I'm not going to be using at all. The next eyeshadow palette that I'm going to let go of is this one by Pure and it was strictly for BoxyCharm. Um, if you don't have boxy charm then you're not going to get this one it's almost like a limited edition the quality uh it could have been a little bit better definitely if especially if it was for boxy charm the next eyeshadow palette is by naked cosmetics um this is pretty cool because it is like duochrome but i am not into duochrome like at all so i'm just gonna have to let go this one is not going to stay in my collection just because it looks cool you know what i'm saying so yeah uh 
Next eyeshadow palette is this one by Crown, and this one is the Glam Metals. Now this palette, it's really nice, super pigmented, but I do have shadows like this that I prefer, once again, the formula on. So it is just a matter of a preference and this palette was really good though. So I'm going to just pass it along. Hopefully somebody gets it and enjoys it because these shades were so amazing. Very buttery, very, very good. So good job on that crown. Another crown palette that I'm going to let go of is uh, this one right here. And this one was, I didn't even use it. This one, it was the Warmth palette. I'm not going to be using shades that I have a million of in my collection and just to touch it. It's definitely not gonna happen. I'd rather not touch it at all and pass it along to someone that is going to enjoy it and is going to, you know, just make it look awesome. And you know, they can build their collection. I don't know, this palette was, it looks super, super amazing but I'd rather give it to someone or give this to someone that is going to enjoy it. So yeah. The next eyeshadow palette oh, is this one that broke. Um, this one is by Protégé. This one is called Protégé and it's by Suva Beauty. Um, this palette was really, really nice, especially to create like a purple look and a warm look. And you can combine all these shades together. It does have a really beautiful highlight. This one is also very, very pretty, but it is so messy because it broke. I'm just going to try to clean it up as much as I can and see if somebody wants it. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to toss it because it is really, really messy and I can't have that. I can't. I can. I like everything to be nice and neat and clean and yeah. Um, the next eyeshadow palette that I got on my BoxyCharm is uh, this one. It's called the Party Animal by Laura Lee. Now this shades look really, really amazing, but you do have to work so hard to get the pigmentation on. Um, they were just not something that I, I am interested in having because I have eyeshadow palettes like this one. Urban Decay being one of them. Also, the Makeup Forever eyeshadows are very, 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 very similar to this one with a better quality. This one was just such, such a hard, hard palette to work with, especially this blue and never showed up. It just brushed away. It was really, really hard to get a really good look using this palette. And believe me, I tried because if you know my channel, I love, love color. So, this one really didn't do it for me. So the next eyeshadow palette that I'm just going to pass along is this one. This one is the Rainforest of the Sea, Volume 3. Um, so just in case you've been missing my BoxyCharms, I do get a box sent from BoxyCharm, but I also am subscribed with BoxyCharm. So I do have a subscription with BoxyCharm, and they send me a box. So I get two boxes every month. Um, I got on my on my box I actually got this palette and even though the packaging is gorgeous and the eyeshadows right here are very neutral very nice you definitely need to combine and this eyeshadow palette with a another eyeshadow um, palette that has your mattes and you know your transition shades because this ones are just pretty much all shimmery shades maybe it has one matte but still not enough to give you depth on the crease based on every singles review i never i have not used it i'm not going to use it either i'm just going to give it to someone because i know i'm not going to use it so i rather just give it to someone that can enjoy it and yeah that's it um i know these are all shimmers so i have to give it to someone that already has an eyeshadow palette somewhat of a collection so they can use it otherwise it's going to be like why are you giving me all the shimmers <laughs> but yeah that's it that's it for the declutter let me just make sure so yeah that's it for the declutter i hope that you like this video i hope that it was entertaining i know it's not helpful uh, but maybe it could be because maybe it could encourage you to let go of some stuff that you're not using, pass it along to your friends and family, maybe to a little friend that you know that she wants to start, uh, you know, her channel with someone that could give it a better use. So especially if it's something that has been sitting down in your collection for quite some time and you know for sure you're not going to use it, maybe it's time for you to just pass it along. I hope that you liked the video and yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I will see you 
next time. Bye.